In this Silica Pearl location guide for Ark Survival Ascended, the island map, I'm gonna show you how to get hundreds of Silica Pearls without ever getting your feet wet where you can easily spot the Pearl nodes. And I'll show you some great locations to get hundreds of Silica Pearls right next to the starting zones on the southern coast, and a lot of Silica Pearl spawns in very shallow water where you can easily find them. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you how to find even more Pearls. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. So we're here on the northwestern corner of the map at about 11.3, 13.4 in the Arctic area, and there's this little inlet on the coast, and these icy beaches along the coast here have tons of silica pearl nodes. This is probably the absolute hands down best location to get silica pearls on Ark Survival Ascended. We're here at 13.1, 13.1 for the first pearl node, and as you can see here, gathering that got me 70 silica pearls. Now, I have really boosted rates here, but these pearl nodes are all along the coast. If you look carefully, they're mostly covered in snow. They look like just flat, smooth rocks, so they're very well camouflaged. But if you keep following this coast along to the north and then to the east, you'll keep finding about 10 to 15 of these pearl nodes scattered all along these beaches. You're also going to find tons of crystal, oil, and obsidian nodes, and this just continues all the way along the coast until about here, which is about the last pearl node that I've found. There's also an explorer note right over here you can grab while you're here, but uh, this location is about 9.4, 22.9, so all the way from that first location I showed you until this one, you can find pearls all along that coast, maybe set up an outpost, grab them all, and come back when they respawn, and you'll be loaded with silica pearls in no time. So from the blue obelisk, if you look to the southern slope of the mountain, there is uh, actually the ice artifact cave right here. And then right below that to the south is this frozen lake. It's uh, on the river, so if you follow the river to this bend right here at about 28.9, 30.6, this is probably the relative safest place to find silica pearls in the water because there are no sharks. You will still be freezing to death, but there's a lot of pearls in this area if you just keep swimming around. With the way the rocks are in this area, it's almost impossible to see the silica pearl nodes, but if you keep swimming around, there's a whole bunch, like maybe 10 at least, in this little pond. You do still have saber tooth salmon, but there's no sharks, which is great, but you're freezing to death the whole time, and there's a lot of really dangerous land creatures all around here that will attack you in the water. So at least in the next pearl location I'll show you, you probably won't have UDs and Carnos piling on top of you while you're grabbing pearls. Now at the time of recording this video, this is the only other place I can really recommend to find actual pearl clams. This is right off the coast, like in a couple feet of water, and we're here at 33.612. This beach has tons of good resources, but there's a couple sharks here and there you'll run into. It's extremely hard to find the silica pearl nodes in this water. You will be freezing to death, so you've got to work fast, but the problem with this location is it's so hard to see the pearls that you might not not be able to find them even if you're right on top of them. So let me show you an entirely different solution to get all the silica pearls you need right next to the easiest starting zones. Now I recommended building a starter base on the south side of this lagoon in my base location guide, partly because of this area right over here. This tiny little island just to the north of it spawns beavers, lots of them, and they will eventually build beaver dams. And if you open up a beaver dam, there is a chance of getting a few silica pearls, maybe a couple hundred, also cementing paste, rare flowers, rare mushrooms, it's totally random what's going to be in that, but if you loot that, you're going to get tons of silica pearls if you just keep coming back to these every time they respawn. Pro tip, make sure you dump everything on the ground, it'll break the beaver dam and they'll build a new one in its place eventually. If it's not broken, they won't build anymore. And make sure you lure the beavers far away from the beaver dam, because as soon as you open it, they're going to come running and destroy you as fast as possible. And this location is at 88.7, 60.8, and it's probably the safest place to find beaver dams on Ark Survival Ascended. 
And after you get all the silica pearls from that location I just showed you, you can head east along the southern coast just a little bit further to about south zone one starting area, which is at 81.1, 38.9. And this little inlet, if you follow the river a little bit to the north, you're gonna start finding beavers spawning all the way around here, down in this river at the bottom of this cliff, and then all the way up to the swamp. You'll find a lot of beaver dams appear here, and there's a lot of nasty stuff like you will have a bunch of spinos that show up, snakes and stuff like that. So be real careful in this area. But there's more beaver dams, especially in the water, and you'll have another chance to get really good loot and tons of silica pearls from this location too. And especially if you started in South Zone 1, which is the default starting zone, this will probably be your best place to get silica pearls. Pretty soon I'll make an entire guide on where to find all of the beaver locations in Ark Survival Ascended so you can loot beaver dams all over the map. So check the description of this video and I may have a link to that guide by the time you watch this. And if you live near a tropical beach, in the morning, right when the sun comes up, trilobites come up out of the water onto the beaches up until early morning. And you can loot those and find silica pearls, black pearls, and oil, and a good bit of chitin. And actually, if you tame an otter, you can whistle for it to attack and kill fish. And if it's the one that kills the fish, you can whistle for it to come back up on land and it's going to be holding a little clam when it steps up on the beach. And it will give you silica pearls and sometimes black pearls just from doing that. Now since the ocean is so murky and silica pearls look just like rocks, it's almost impossible to find them in the deep ocean and it's real dangerous down there. But I'm hoping the Ark Survival Ascended devs actually fix that, make the water a little bit easier to see in. And if they do, I'll find some more silica pearl locations in the ocean and release an updated silica pearl guide. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you won't miss when that video comes out. And if you're watching this after launch, check the description and see if I've already got that video posted. There may be a link in the description when that video is ready. Let me know in the comments what you think is the best of these silica pearl locations in Ark Survival Ascended and how you're getting silica pearls. And if you've got a suggestion that I didn't mention here or some coordinates, I would love to hear about that in the description. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that other people can be helped by it too. And keep an eye out for lots more helpful guides coming really soon for Ark Survival Ascended. Thanks for watching this video from the Ark Survival Guide. Please give it a thumbs up, share it around, and leave a comment. That helps us so much, and we love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video full of tricks that will help you win at Ark. While you wait, here's more videos you can watch right now, and we will see you in the next video.